Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come down to my File Explorer and I'm going to open File Explorer. I'm going to navigate to my um, D drive, which is my SD card where I've got my works going to be saved. And I've already made a digital tech folder, but if I go in, there's nothing in there. So I'm going to create a new folder inside there and I'm going to call it Photoshop. And this is where I'm going to save all of this work. I can close that up now, don't need to leave it open any longer and I'm going to launch Photoshop. Okay, this is what Photoshop looks like when it first opens. There's nothing loaded and all the menus are greyed out because we can't do much of anything. So we're going to start off by creating a new page. Um, in this case, what we're going to go for is we're going to go for one which is a photo. There's lots of different choices in this preset. We're going to choose photo and we're going to go for this one which says portrait four by six. So this is in inches and it's in portrait view and we're going to say OK. Now that's what my page looks like. At the moment, if you look down the bottom on the left here, that's at 25% zoom. So that's a quarter of the real size. If I come to my magnifying glass and double click it, it brings it up to full size. You can see it says 100% down here. I'm going to go back to about 30% just so we can see it for the moment by changing the number down here and pressing enter. Uh, before I go any further, I'm going to save this. So I'm going to go file save as it's going to go into this d drive so if i show you where we are there's my sd card my d drive there's my digital tech folder there's my photoshop folder and i'm just going to name this and i'm going to call it my name so my surname underscore my first name and then i'm going to call it uh, magazine cover so it's a nice sensible name. When I come back to it later on, I know what it is. And the type I've saved it as is a Photoshop file, a PSD. Hit save, and we're good to go. It tells me up here now the name of my piece of work, and here's my canvas. What I want to do next is I want to actually um, op open something like Google Chrome and find some pictures that I'm going to use as part of this. So I'm going to open up Google Chrome now. Okay, here we are in Google. I'm going to switch over to Google Images. And I'm going to search for, I think, Katy Perry. She can be the star of my magazine. Now, when I come to these kind of pictures, if I hover over them, it tells me how big they are. And that's an important factor. Anything that's too small is going to be stretched when you try and put it into your picture. So if you're not quite sure, what you can do is you can use search tools and you can go for size and you can say it has to be bigger than 640. So that means it's not going to be too small a picture. So this one here looks nice enough. I'm going to click on that one. Uh, I'm going to say view image. And on the view image view, I'm going to right click on it. And I'm going to say save image as. And I'm going to put it into my D drive, into my digital tech, and into Photoshop. Katy Perry is what it's called. That's fine. I'll leave it as that and hit save. I'm going to come back into Google. And I'm going to do a second search. This time, I'm going to decide that because the Minion movie is coming out soon. That's going to be uh, one of the pictures I'm going to use. I'm going to do the same thing. Search tools, check the size. I'm going to make it bigger than, this time, bigger than 400. It doesn't have to be a massive picture. Again, if I hover over them, I can see what they are. That one's massive. You can see it's 3,871. That's twice the width of your monitor. So I don't need one as big as that. That one's OK. 634. It's not too big. Click view image and then right click and save image and I'm going to call it minion. And the same place is defaulted back to that Photoshop folder. I'm going to hit save. Okay, can close this down now and I'm back to my Photoshop view.